Hi guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel. But today is the long awaited and anticipated what I got for Christmas video. Now, no cap, but I did have plans to film this the day of or the day after Christmas, but literally on Christmas Eve, my brother and his wife texted or actually called my mom and said that they wanted to come in the Friday after Christmas to have a mini Christmas with us. And my mom said that that was fine and I knew that I was going to be getting more gifts from them. So I decided to hold off until that happened, our mini Christmas. But before I get into this, I just want to let y'all know that I'm not trying to be braggy or boasty. It's just that I want to show you what a disabled person like me would want. Now, just to say that if you met one disabled person, person you met one disabled person meaning what I would like may not be what your disabled cousin Eliza would like so also most of this stuff can be found on Amazon so I'll yeet it into my Amazon ideas board so that those of y'all that want it can take a look Pause. so it seems like Amazon has yeeted their ideas board feature so I'm gonna think of something else and once I figure out what I'm gonna do, I'll let you guys know and this stuff will be yeeted into it. Okay, back to the video. And I'm so excited to get into this video and on that note, we're gonna get started. So first we have the stocking stuffers. We have the ironic and iconic socks. It's ironic because your stocking's a sock and you get socks in a sock. But these are from Ari, they're, they're like crew socks. And I really like these because I don't struggle with this, but a lot of people that wear AFOs do. But the socks come up to my AFO and you will see a lot of people, especially people with spina bifida, wear like socks with their AFOs because the AFO can rub up against your skin and give you a blister. And if you continue to wear your braces and not know that the blister's there, it can turn into a pressure sore and the pressure sore could get infected and you could die. And some people may be thinking, well, can't you like feel when you have it? So I can, however, for some people with spina bifida, they are unable to feel that because there's just a lot of different factors that go into if you're going to be able to feel your legs or not. And that's why it is so, 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 so important for individuals that cannot feel their legs or any parts of their body to do daily skin checks and to help, you know, kind of prevent those sores and rubbing up against like the braces rubbing up against our legs. That's why you see a lot of people wear crew socks. Now, this next one was in my stocking. However, I don't consider it to be a stocking stuffer, and I'm going to explain why. But we have gift cards. And again, some people may see it as a stocking stuffer, but I don't. So my dad passed away in August of 2022, and my birthday was in November. And when I had my birthday, and this was completely my fault, by the way, because I had no idea that this would happen to me or that this was even a thing until my mom pointed it out. But she had gotten me clothes because I had asked for some and I tried them on and I looked ugly and all of them, well, at least I thought. And I was angry at them and my mom said that that's a grease side effect and she felt that way too. So what we have decided to do for each other is unless if we specifically ask for an article of clothing on our wish list, we just get gift cards to like stores that we like and it's made it a lot easier because that way we can buy it on our own and if we still get angry about it then the other person isn't to blame but first off we have the amazon gift card i can buy all my baking stuff on there love to see it and we have the altered state gift card if you know you know but it's basically like a christian clothing boutique And then we have Ari and I love their leggings cause I'm able to get a shorter inseam, which is what I need and their bras. I cannot wear their um, underwear cause I'm in pull-ups. 
So that's out. And last but certainly not least, Sephora. And I am not a makeup girly. However, my Glow Recipe skincare, as well as my Amika hair care products, are sold at Sephora. So, therefore, I can use this to buy that stuff and replenish on whatever I need. Which, speaking of skincare, so I have the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. There's also like another cleanser that I got for my birthday that goes with this hand in hand from Glow Recipe. And I'm going to eat that in my ideas board as well. But this is a Christmas haul, so I'm not going to show it on here. And then no hate, I'm going to try to do my best to like say this. But it's a Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salalilic Serum. And then we have the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. And then the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Now, I got into Glow Recipe because last year my mom was looking for a good skin cleanser and she hadn't had the time to do any research and look one up herself. So I decided to do it and Glow Recipe had a good one. So I got her a mini trial pack of all their best sellers and she really liked it. So I decided to um, get some as well and I took the skin quiz online and they told me what products I needed based on the skin quiz, and that's what I've been using. I also got Super Mario Bros. Wonder, because yes, I do have a Nintendo Switch. However, even though I don't play very often, I still have a Switch. And I love the game. I played it for a couple of days now. Love it. And I don't really play video games like that often, but when I do, I play but I'm not like the stereotypical autistic that's into anime. I'm just into like Mario. Um, and then there's a couple of other games as well. Um, but mainly all mine are just basically Mario um, and Animal Crossing. And then I have a tripod. And I did my research and this was like the best one at the best price point. And... I still had my old one and I have been through two of these, but my first one actually didn't break. I left it on vacation and I never got it back, but it is like on the fritz. So like there's supposed to be a hook here, no hook, fell off. And then it's cracked right here. Like you can see I'm literally able to move this. And then there's like some scrapes and scratches on it and stuff. And my mom said she would take it. And I said, are you sure it's on the fritz? And she apparently didn't care and still wants it. So I'm cool with that. This though, this is a phone stand that I bought separately from Amazon, which will also be linked to my ideas board, even though it, I didn't get it for Christmas. I bought it with my own money. And it's really nice and I really like it. And I feel like it'd be too complicated for my mom to use because she's not the best with technology. So I am going to give her the one that came with my tripod. My old tripod because it'll be a lot easier for her to use and more like non-technology friendly. So I'm just going to give her that one and keep this one for myself. Now my brothers. God love my brothers, but the biggest kryptonite, I think, in our family is communication. And I had asked for a second game for my Switch, which I'll pop a photo of it right here. And my brother Jake was able to get me a digital download, and my brother Ben wasn't able to get me a digital download. He couldn't figure out how, which is ironic, because although my brother Jake and his wife got a Switch for, for Christmas... You know, he was able to figure it out versus my brother Ben who has a Switch and couldn't figure it out. So I find it kind of ironic and funny. But he got me gift cards and the amount that it would take for me to pay for it by myself. 
So even though they didn't communicate, it ended up working out because now I can buy whatever I want. And there was actually one other game that I wanted that I didn't get. So I'm going to buy that with that money. Um, however, I'm an idiot. So I haven't played my Switch in a while. And I go to download the digital download of the game. And I couldn't download it because I was all out of storage. So I had to go on Amazon and get a micro SD card. I tried to get one through the Nintendo like website and stuff, thinking that I could use the eShop gift card maybe, but they were sold out. But that's everything I got for Christmas. And keep in mind, if you met one disabled person, you met one disabled person. So just because I like something, doesn't mean that your disabled cousin Eliza or Billy Bob's gonna want it also. And also, I've seen online where a lot of parents of, like, disabled individuals, especially those with autism, will say that their Christmas isn't perfect because, like, their daughter didn't get excited when they got them a doll because that's what a girl her age would want. Or the daughter just wanted to stay home and eat chips and queso all day. Or, you know... Their son wasn't able to participate in church choir because he's in a wheelchair and they didn't have a ramp to get up to the stage. And the thing is, is that just because you celebrate Christmas differently and not in the way that other people do doesn't mean that it isn't perfect. And I feel like a lot of disabled people's like parents should just push their pride aside and they should celebrate Christmas however it works best for their family. That way it's a better Christmas for everybody. And what's really helped me, so my parents bought me my special interest and that's helped me the most. And it actually helped me appreciate and enjoy Christmas. And I don't really have any like sensory issues. Back then I used to not eat some of the food, but that's because I was a picky eater and I have a feeling if a frid was a thing back then, I would have um, been diagnosed with that. But again, I like everything now and that's basically it. Comment below what you got for Christmas or what things have helped or not have helped your family. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye!